welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We just finished checking out the apartment of this person here who's involved with the neon drug trade. Finished looking at that and we have a place to follow up on where to go next with that which is behind the Ludwig Courtyard. There's apparently some sort of a secret rave and somebody involved uh, is probably there. But I'm not going to focus on that for now. For now, let's take this little vent to the other apartment over here. And see what's inside. I'm assuming these apartments are going to have more valuable things than the other apartments because they're larger and uh, obviously people are much more wealthy who live here. Wait, what? Packed combat drones attacked St. Petersburg, and in the U.S., millions of workers lost their jobs. I heard something about el elected a 12-year-old boy as president. <laughs> what? Huh, I could get to a lot of apartments through the windows, actually. Hmm. <laughs> that is such an over-the-top table. I love it, though. Not terribly practical, but it would be kind of fun to race little Hot Wheels around here, you know? See if they can go around these loops. Looks like they liked uh, doing outdoor activities and sports and stuff. Bike riding, mountain climbing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa? James Miller? Th <laughs> This is James Miller's apartment? That's the director of TF29. The person who's been telling me, hey, you gonna come anytime soon, Adam Jensen? That's the person I'm supposed to be finding more information about, right? Because I think that they might be lying to me. Wow. This apartment just suddenly got a lot more important than I thought it was. What the hell am I looking at? What is that? A strange piece of art. Okay. Well, let's be very careful about how we look over this place, make sure we don't miss anything. Holy crap, there's four uh, tracer things. Hmm. So they're gonna get to me through here and then here. This one's a level four. Okay. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Wait, what? I can't. Oh no. Oh. Oh wait, I got way more time than I thought I would actually. Okay, we might be okay, possibly. Wow, I can't believe I did that. It looks so nasty. From Colleen White. I know you don't want to hear from me again so soon after the call, but the way it finished left me feeling like crap. Leonard told me to leave you alone, but that whole guy thing is bullshit. Honestly, it's just like dad all over again. Why would you talk to someone and give yourself a bit of room in your own head? It's obvious the Neil thing is really getting to you and using work to take your mind off it isn't healthy. I know you'll just ignore me like always, but if you're not comfortable with family, then you should talk with a professional and at least blow off steam at someone who's paid to hear it. Anyway, I'm backing off. Leonard thinks he's found a good lawyer who understands augmentation law better than he does, so he's going to forward contact details to you directly. Just hope this doesn't cause any more problems than it solves. I hate this, James. I hate feeling bad for you. 
please take care of yourself. Think about what I said. I have no idea what this is referring to. So something happened that was bothering Miller, but I don't know what. From Charles Bennett. Hey Jim, some of the guys from Troop 6 have been talking about getting together. Maybe organizing a road trip through the outback around Christmas. Might help Jaden clear his head for a bit. I take you heard what happened to him. He was stationed in uh, Brisbane, working alongside Bell Tower in 27 when it happened. Wasn't pretty. Anyway, I get it if you're not able to come. Dom says you're still in the thick of it. Running some kind of elite force up in Germany or Czech Republic or someplace. But it could be a chance to dust off that longsword of yours. Prove you're still the old eagle eyes we all knew. Let me know. Oh, so is the event the... Oh yeah, I guess talking about... Uh, a lawyer who understands augmentation law and the event. They must be talking about the incident with the Augs two years ago. But obviously I don't know the specifics of what happened that is bothering Miller so much. Is that a bridge? Looks straight out of Tron. See, person in the other apartment, this is what your shower should look like. It should not have a chair or a stereo system in it. <laughs> is that the milk frother thing? Yeah, super want to make sure I don't miss something. Is that a... That's a game controller, isn't it? Game controller of the future. Interesting. What is that on the left side? That's a really strange controller. So on the right side, it's kind of standard stuff. It's got a thumbstick and, you know, the X, A, B, Y keys or buttons. From the center, there's like a, it looks like a mouse scroll wheel. And then on the left side, I don't even know what that is. Did we read this? No, we haven't read this, actually. A series of coordinated bomb blasts tore through Rizika Station yesterday morning, killing dozens of travelers and renewing fears of large of a large-scale terrorist mayhem against the city. Rail travel to Prague is being rerouted, while forensic investigators comb the debris for answers. This morning, it remained unclear who is responsible. But given that two similar bombings targeted lawmakers and destroyed a police precinct earlier in the year, this latest attack suggests that augmented terrorists, upset over Prague's model augmentation licensing and relocation programs, may be responsible. Obviously, the world is watching Prague, State Police Spokesman Alex... Alex... Alexa... I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, uh, told reporters. And that is why we are working hard to bring this wave of augmented terror to an end. Even with Interpol aiding in our investigation, I'm confident our people can bring swift justice to those responsible. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if the whole thing was just a setup to make people... to, uh, to shift public opinion in favor of banning augmentation. Because those people near the beginning of the game that we saw speaking around that round table, the, the shadowy cabal of people trying to advance a no augmentation agenda. It sounded like... It sounded like they were talking about using their powers to influence public opinion. And this would be one way to do it. I wouldn't put that beneath them. They seem to be not worried about getting their hands dirty and killing people for the sake of advancing their agenda. claiming to have proof that the International Monetary Fund holds the poorest countries at economic gunpoint on behalf of the world's elite. Juggernaut Collective Hackers released dozens of emails stolen during last month's cyber attack. Many of the emails we read, however, seem to be reminders to keep staff refrigerators clean. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if that's just trash reporting or just supposed to be kind of funny. 
think it's just trash reporting. Oh, is that their husband? Yeah, it must be. I wonder if they died in the AUG incident. That'd be my guess. What? Was that a secret button? Are you serious? What kind of a secret button is that? I... Okay, so you're telling me if... What's her name? James... James Miller? Something Miller. I think it's James Miller. So you're telling me if James Miller wants to practice on the punching bag and they're just sitting here, just doing this. They're just like cycling the door all day. Wouldn't that get annoying? Ooh. Pistol and a concussion grenade. Well, this has got to be where the good stuff is. Opens the safe. I'm gonna take that alcohol just in case it's like really good stuff that's worth a lot of money. Oh, hello. I'm sure that I can sell for quite a bit. Let's drop these. I'm assuming it's worth more than both of them combined, most likely. I don't know if it tells you how much it's worth. It probably doesn't. Probably depends on who you're selling it to. Yeah. Okay, I would be very surprised if I can hack this. Yeah, security rating 3. Okay, so I need to keep in mind, if I can find another multi-tool or just get my hacking rating up, I definitely need to come back here. Whoa, 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 what was that? Triangle code. Huh? Use the Deus Ex Universe phone app to scan this triangle code. Uh... No. Security rating 5. Okay, so ideally two multi-tools. Okay, I'll come back here. So what apartment are they? 203. Apartment 203. Well, there's like a million places I could explore here. But I don't want to get... I don't want to spend like five episodes just in this hotel checking it out, so... I don't want any trouble. Think we'll find anything? This is why... Let's see where I want to go next. I could just head to... That's the main quest, right? Yeah, TF-29's office. Let's activate that. Um... Oh, that's the icon for TF-29 right there. There's a merchant right here. I wanted to be better be getting hazard pay. Wait, where, where is that merchant exactly? Somewhere inside of the apartments? Is it, is it either of you? Oh, they're up on the top floor. Huh. I wonder what they sell. Hacking rating 2. <gasps> Hacking rating too. These might have multi tools inside of them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's quite a look. Thank you. I assume they're talking to me. Okay. It's gonna come at me from here, here, here. Anomaly detected. 
trace program initiated. Okay, we're good. Access granted. Ah, I see that wall weakness, but I can't punch it. Is this someone else's apartment? Restricted zone. Is that a laser in the vent up there? Mine template. Never gotten one of those before. Oh, this is someone's like secret little chamber. Oh, those are actually people inside of here, aren't they? Are we on the third floor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is near where the, the sales, uh, the merchant is. Oh. Oh, is there no going back? I wonder if there isn't a secret button on this side. What did I just do? Okay, let's try that one more time. Biocell plug. Use biocell. So... I don't know what that does, but did, by using that, did they s see me? No. What? The door was closed. I don't understand how they're seeing me. Is there some sort of a alarm that I'm triggering? Well, I think I'm just gonna open up the other place and just ignore that. Ah, this one's fogged over. Well, I guess we'll just go for it. Oh, seriously? That's it? Access granted. <laughs> that was the easiest. Someone's been sleeping in here. Unsent message, parents' address. Bridget Venk call. Bridget Venk call? 33 Hlavny, apartment 201, door lock 6864. Booking reference. Huh. Hlavny. Hlavny. That's not the apartment building where my, where Adam's place is, right? And it's not this place either. Hlavne. Ah, I should probably drop some. Oh well, it's not that important. What's okay. wrong with him? Okay, let's go speak with that person that we can sell stuff to. The merchant up here. Without sneaking in and having them shoot at us. Oh, it just leads to this one apartment. And the merchant is on the other side, but I can probably jump my way there. Whoa. Someone's been being a bit of a detective. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Alright, let's check it out. I'm really curious. I wasn't planning on exploring all these apartments, but... I, 
can't help but explore this one. Why does it look like that chip bag has been coated in, like, shit or something? Maps, blueprints... You're quite a tinkerer. What is your name? Sami's dot. Hmm. Oh, he's super easy to hack. How do I get there, though? That's the question. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Regarding join Samazdat, I have a great amount of respect for you, for all of you, but I do not want to hide. You've changed your names, erased your pasts, left everything and gone underground. I'm not sure I have it in me to do all that. More importantly, I'm not sure it's necessary. I have my own ideas about how to make things better. Be careful down there, Suzanne, and know that I'll always be a faithful reader of Sama's Dot. If I had to guess, I would say that they're a resistance faction, probably opposing the people trying to make it hard for augmented people. Not sure I'm going to get much out of these notes. Nope. <laughs> They've just been living in here. On beer and pizza. Now I just wonder if everybody's bathroom has a secret panel behind it. Oh, that's the main door. Yeah, there's like nothing to this apartment. I mean, they haven't really moved in. They, they moved into that room and they've just been doing their work in there and... Yeah, this is not a home, it's just a base of operations. Burger and fries. Ooh, there's actually some hacking software here. Nuke virus and stop worm. I think stop worm just gives you like a couple extra seconds, just buys you some time. Yeah, I've already been here. Okay. That's all there is to this apartment. 302. Now, we should be... Nope, we're not in the area of the, the merchant. Hmm. I think we just gotta go up over here. Nice call. Thank you. I had it specifically made for me by a, a tailor in Germany. Hey, are you interested in clean guns for a good price? Sure. The United Nations said to debate the Human Restoration Act in a matter of weeks. Could the good doctor be changing his... You don't mind, right? Sold a good amount of my stuff, and they don't have anything in particular that I want. I'm trying to... Mm -hmm. no, Why does everybody get so pissed at you when you just sell them stuff? If they didn't want it, then why did they buy it? Weirdos. Oh, I did not realize these actually are the Halafni apartments. Yeah, I remember seeing the, the like, north 33 degrees or something on the outside of this place. But it is also the Halafni apartments. So, we have the passcode to this apartment, 201. And it's a good thing that we do, security rating 4. Nobody home.
It's electric hazard up there. Mr. Pribble, thank you for your recent communication. On behalf of the Palisade Property Bank, I'd like to extend our sympathies for your situation. Oh, and it says update on your parents' parents' property safe. Okay, so I guess their their parents must have died. We confirm that we've already established contact with your father's attorney and conducted the necessary steps to include you as an interim legal account holder. Under the terms of the VIP account terms and conditions, you're entitled to proxy control of said box until your parents' situation is legally resolved. When you come to the bank, we can help by offering you some time with a Palisade representative that can explain how the bank works and what to know for interacting with our services. Coach, your parents' security allocation is 0310. Aside from any persons your parents may have advised, you are the only other person outside of the bank who is aware of your parents' relationship with Palisade, including any and all governmental authorities. We pride ourselves in preserving the privacy of our clients. Hmm. Is this until your parents' situation is legally resolved? It sounds like maybe they're in jail or something. So, it sounds like there's security boxes at the Palisade Bank. So I've got a, I guess I've got the passcode to one of those boxes. And I believe the Palisade Bank is actually a place in this district. Yeah, just the marks where old pictures used to be. Why? Just why? Whoa! Oh no! Why is there a police person in the apartment? They just left. Okay, I don't even know if they'd have a problem with me being there. It's not a restricted zone. Maybe I shouldn't have left the door open. Huh. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. That scared the hell out of me. Update on your parents' status, Mr. Pribble. I now have clear information on what has happened. In a recent raid upon the offices of the Foundation for Augmented Advancement, an activist and fundraising organization with ties to ARC and other suspected terrorist organizations, the state police discovered your parents' names among the regular contributors. For this reason, both Mr. and Mrs. Pribble have been summarily deported to the Utilec complex and are unable to leave due to the legal restrictions on augmented individuals in place by the authorities in Prague. Oh. Yep, so that's what happened. Uh, by law, the property of terrorist colluders is subject to full seizure. Although I've managed to obtain a moratorium. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not finding anything. to obtain a moratorium on the confiscation of your parents' condominium and most of its contents, namely for the future sake of your sister Natasha. With no surviving family on your father's side and close relative relatives on your mother's side being currently untraceable, you are considered to assume the role of Natasha's legal guardian if mutual agreement is established. On your parents', parents behalf, I am instructed to ask you to leave your studies and return to Czechia to take care of her. In the event of you becoming your sister's legal guardian, the condominium and its associated storage locker, code 2913, will remain in your possession until your sister's 14th birthday. 
Why can't I... S there we go. It's weird. I couldn't scroll down anymore with the scroll wheel on my mouse, but I could by grabbing this. Um, as, is, as, as has become increasingly common with Utilek, I've been unable to contact your parents since their deportation to the complex. The authorities assure me all is well. Should you decide to return to Prague, you have one week to make your decision and return to occupy the condominium. Otherwise, all property will be confiscated immediately and your sister will become a ward of the state. Please let me know your decision as soon as possible. Christ, what a terrible situation. Uh, so reply to... This subject, my life feels like it's exploded and looks like the cop's back, alright. That's weird. Still nothing to report. <laughs> <laughs> my life feels like it exploded. Pete, you probably heard there was another bombing in Prague. Me and Nat are fine, but the city is trying out a new system where after a terrorist attack, all the schools move to stadiums, and the kids camp out there for a week under the protection of soldiers or something. It might be the National Guard, but I don't know. Even the police over here look military strength. That all seems pretty extreme to me, but everything is these days. At least it keeps the parents from freaking out. Which is why I'm writing. For the first time since I moved here, I'm home alone with no one to worry about but me. And as soon as that hit me, I felt so relieved I almost felt like crying. Actually, I did. There's no point pretending I'm okay with this. No exaggeration. Pete, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Sometimes I think it would be better for Nat if I let her go to a foster home. Those people want to be parents and they know what they're doing. Meanwhile, I keep hoping that someone at school is going to tell her about periods so I don't have to. She's only 10 for God's sake. I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. That sounds messed up. I'm not going to lie, I'd love to see you come back here, but we both know you're not going to. I've had so many roommates in my life that I've lost count, but all that time you're the only one who ever put a picture of his family on the wall. I can't pretend to know what you're going through and I have no helpful advice to give you. All I know is that you're doing what you have to do. Trust yourself more. It'll work out. I was looking into maybe coming to visit, but flights to Prague are a nightmare with all the security lockdowns and stuff going on. Sorry, buddy. Take care. We're all thinking about you. Hmm. Roommate and a, I guess a good friend from when they were doing their studies. If you're asking me for directions, then you probably shouldn't be here. I think you need directions. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think... I think we'll finally head to TF29.